This week, NASA hopes to learn if it fixed that hydrogen leak that ruined the last launch attempt for the Mega Moon rocket. A fueling test at Kennedy Space Center is on track for Wednesday. And as News 6's James Sparvero updates us, if the test works, the third launch attempt might actually happen next week. After two weeks of repairs, NASA says it will try fueling the space launch system on Wednesday, and if it can pass that test, prepare for another launch attempt on Tuesday the 27th. In a teleconference Monday, NASA also said it's still waiting on the Space Force to decide if SLS would even be allowed to fly that soon. The rocket's flight termination system needs recertified after the two failed attempts. However, NASA is asking to bypass reinspecting those batteries. They've got the responsibility of public safety, and so they've asked for additional information. We provide that additional information. They know we're going to do this cryo demo test regardless of a waiver extension or not. NASA says the fueling test Wednesday will include chilling the engines and testing new seals on liquid hydrogen connections. Being unable to resolve a hydrogen leak. SLS suffered hydrogen leaks during multiple tests and launch attempts so far. This time, NASA says it will be a slower fueling process. We're going to be doing what we call the kindler gentler kind of loading operations. We're going to lower that pressure a little bit at the beginning of the chill down procedures up through the transition to fast fill. And we think that will really help with the pressure and temperature transitions that the system sees. The fueling test Wednesday would begin at 7.15 in the morning. We'll update you all day on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.